Well, as our project house moves along, the framing crew has completed our flooring system. Now the ceilings are so high in this house and the rooms are so big, we needed a special system to support all of that weight, but also to remain smooth for our flooring and smooth for the ceiling on the downstairs area. To do that, we didn't use normal dimensional lumber, we used engineered wood. Let's go downstairs and take a look. Here are some samples of the different types of engineered wood that we're using in our project house. It's a good idea to get your complete flooring system from one manufacturer because that way it's all engineered to the exact same specification. We got all of ours from Willamette and we've got an expert with us today, Chris Degnan. Good to have you here, Chris. Thanks, Michael. Great to be here. Uh, take us across. We're starting over here. We don't want our floor to squeak and you got some eye joists. Tell us a little bit about how they're built. Exactly. Starting with the eye joists, Michael. Uh, this uh, floor framing product is uh, starting with a, a highly engineered OSB web product in the middle. So it's oriented strand board? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on the top we have LVL or laminated veneer lumber flanges, which is uh, veneers of pine that's uh, glued together. Okay, so it's like a piece of plywood but they're all going in the same direction. So all in one direction, right, okay. for, for one directional stiffness on the, on the flange itself. And now how does that compare to a normal piece of lumber that's the same size? Let's say we had a 2 by 12 it looks like, as far well, as strength. The great thing about it is uh, as far as strength and stiffness, you get a stronger piece right here and actually using uh, about one third less wood fiber. Okay, so we're using mm -hmm. less material, we're cutting down fewer trees. Now over here you have some bigger eye joists, um, looks like a 16 inch. And on top, you've gone with uh, plywood for a floor decking instead of oriented strand board. How come? Right, Michael, in this house we have a, a couple of different sizes of eye joists depending on uh, the span and the strength that we need. Uh, we've gone with the inch and an eighth sturdy floor plywood. Uh, because this is a high-end house with very high walls, we're looking for a very strong, very stable flooring. This is what we've gone with the inch and an eighth plywood floor. So to put this together in the flooring system, we would typically glue the top of the flange, place the plywood down, and then either nail or screw this on to uh, attach the floor stably and strongly to the system. And it's important to do that glue to make sure just to back up those nails and screws that it's not moving at all? The glue is very important, right, to get the tight, strong bond that you need to keep everything stable. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it looks like here you've got a rim board. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with that. Michael, this is the rim board plus, and the way this is used, it uh, encloses the eye joist structure. It would actually be placed on the ends of the eye joists, such as this, going across. Okay. It uh, provides uh, both lateral support as it's nailed onto the eye joist and vertical support to the outside bearing wall coming down. Okay, so we're planters. definitely gonna have a sturdy floor then. Exactly. Looking at, and then here, it looks like you have a giant piece of LVL. What are you using this for? Well, the LVL will be used um, as, a, as a little more uh, structurally strong component than the eye joist would be. Um, you may use a piece of LVL in place of an eye joist in your flooring system if you have a uh, load bearing wall above it and you need the extra strength that the LVL will give you over the eye joist. Okay, so if we have a room right above our second floor there and the wall sitting there and that goes all the way up to maybe the roof or, or is supporting that, the house That would weight. be a good example of a place where LVL could be used. Okay, that's what we're going to use. Right. And then you've got the monster. you got the glue lamp. The glue lamp beam. Okay. Uh, manufactured in many different sizes, um, very dimensionally stable. We're able to get a stronger piece of lumber uh, than we would out of a single piece of lumber this size. The stronger laminations are going to be on the top and the bottom of these beams carrying the load um, as, it, as it would tend to pull down or up depending on how the load is in the house. Yeah. Um, where we get um, longer spans of the eye joist, we would have uh, the uh, glue line beam in between hanging from uh, the eye joist would be hanging from the glue line beam, uh, supporting intermediate spans of the eye joist. Okay, well that's going to make for a very strong floor. Let's actually go in the other room where we've got some samples of all this built into the house. Great. Well, Chris, we have a huge room here, and I see you've got the eye joist all the way across to support all that weight from upstairs. Right, Michael, this is a great example of uh, the advantages of the eye joist engineer wood flooring system. We've got about a 20 26 foot span room in here and that's just not something that would be possible with solid wood 2x10 or 2x12. Yeah, we'd have to have some posts or columns in here. Exactly. We? And now we have a great big open room. It's a huge room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you support that weight and then here you have a giant glue lamp on the end of this going across this wall. Right. 
as good as the iJoy system is, we still can't we still can't span 40, 50 feet. So this is one we'll break the span with a large glue lamb, and you can see this glue lamb is manufactured to the same depth as the iJoy, so that we have a very smooth sealing all the way across here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it looks like it's going to be super strong. It's supporting a lot of weight. Right. Then over here, your green board is your LVL that you got up. This is a great example of a placement of, uh, of a double piece of LVL, right. And what we would have above there is a bearing wall in the, uh, in the living space above. Upstairs, okay. Mm -hmm. So we needed that instead of the eye joist at that one position. Exactly. Even though it looks like a uh, ceiling, it's actually a floor, isn't it? It's actually a flooring system supporting uh, living space above. That's right. Well, thanks for the help. I'm going to run upstairs and check out that great. floor. Thanks, Michael.